the table. On that news, I want to bring in Representative Kevin Brady of Texas. Uh, he is one of the Republicans that has been named by Speaker Boehner to help negotiate a deal. Welcome to In Business. Thank you, Margaret. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, sir, we're hoping you can give us some clarity on what is happening in negotiations right now. Uh, what have the conferees been able to achieve? Well, right now, uh, not much. We don't have anyone to negotiate with. We're here in the Capitol. Like the president, like uh, Senator uh, Majority Leader Reid and Nancy Pelosi, we support a full year extension as well. We sim simply can't get anyone to sit across the table from us and get this done before New Year's Day. And it seems to me we can if we'll just sit down at that table. Now, it seemed this morning uh, from our sources on, at, the, at the Capitol that there had been consideration of maybe a three-month extension, a six-month extension, something to match up with business quarters and processing. Is that option on the table or had it been on the table earlier today before the president's statement? Margaret, I honestly don't know. I think everyone's trying to find common ground on this issue. Certainly, I know the speaker is, uh, and we will be meeting with him throughout the day as we have been uh, the last uh, several days as well. You know, we're still hopeful on New Year's Day. People will wake up with their full paychecks and they'll have a full year of payroll tax extension. I think it's critical. Well, what has the committee been able to accomplish? Well, at this point, as I said earlier, House Republicans are here. Negotiators have been appointed. Senator McConnell in the Senate has said he'll appoint Republican senators to negotiate as well. There's only one thing missing. We need Democrats to sit down and work with us to solve the problem. Because just last week, they were all demanding, in fact, insisting on a full year uh, payroll tax holiday. We agree. So let's sit down and do it. Well, right, but it sounds like what you're saying is there's nothing material that has been accomplished by your committee so far. Um, well, what can we? What, <laughs> Margaret, what, I, mean, that I guess my what point saying. is. So, what, what, what are you talking about in terms of even possibilities look, on how to pay for it? At this point, we've built half a bridge. Uh, as Republicans, we're waiting for Democrats to start on their end of this thing. We think we can meet and actually extend this for the full year, but without that, it's hard to get work done. Uh, we did see that statement uh, earlier um, uh, from Mitch McConnell saying that the House should also pass that, that the two-month extension um, and that there should be that committee. Do you, do you appoint it there? Do you consider that an accomplishment? Do you consider that forward movement in any way? Well, I think everything is encouraging in some way. You know, I think a stalemate isn't good for the country. Certainly, in talking with my local businesses back home, this two months extension is a payroll tax problem for them and, and absolutely creates more uncertainty to job hiring. So I think our local businesses, Main Street, would like to see the full year extension. They're just puzzled why the Senate won't come back from their vacations, sit down with us, and do the work. What are you hearing, sir, from within your own party? Um, it, it's been reported that you know some of the more conservative uh, elements within the Republican Party have uh, really been vocal in, in pushing uh, against uh, some of the uh, proposals so far. Are, is there unanimity? You know, uh, I don't see that division occurring. And the, and the Republican conference has been united on this the insistence for a full year. Uh, of a tax holiday for, for workers and small businesses. So I, I see a unified effort at this point. I don't think that'll change. What will you tell your constituents um, if they wake up on January 1st with that tax cut gone? The good news is I can tell them I've done all I can that I worked through the holidays as House Republicans did to try to make this happen. I can't help if the President and the Senate Democrats have changed their mind in a week time and reverse course completely, say they can't have a one-year uh, uh, payroll tax holiday when I'm convinced they can't. All right, uh, Representative Brandy, thank you very much uh, for sharing Thanks, what's happening in those negotiations right now. We do know the president will be speaking in that 12 o'clock hour as well on this very issue. So Bloomberg will bring